All right, so we've had a bunch of questions about how do we feed colonies that we identified as needing sugar. So this colony, as you can see, is quite large. And um, they're already in the top box. And we decided that we'd rather be safe than sorry and add some sugar. So this is how we do that. All we do is we take one of these feeding shims. And this one is a three inch shim. We also have two inch shims. And we just put the shim on, try not to squish a few bees as we can. And then we take a newspaper. And generally we just use a half a paper. And just fold it like this. And you just set it on top of the cluster and give them some time and they'll move back down. And so we'll just gently add some sugar and give them that top pressure. And as they feel that pressure, they'll go back down into the gaps between the frames. So don't just dump it all on them right away. But if you slowly add the pressure, they'll go back down. And so we'll use maybe one or two McDonald's cups full of sugar and we just pile it up like this. As the bees respire, their, the water from their respiration will come in contact with this sugar and turn it into a hard sugar brick. If you wanna speed that process up, you could spray this with some water, just the surface, and it will harden up just like a big sugar brick. So that's all we do. And then we will put our Reflectix back. I'm gonna add just a little bit more sugar though, just cause I don't know when I'll be back to check on these girls. So something like that. And then we will just take the Reflectix and put it back together. And that's all we do to feed our bees if we feel they need a little bit extra to get through the two springs.